All right, so we've got the vertex colors, but what do you do if you want a light to blink? Um, so what we're going to do is I want the outer glass section to be a turn signal, right? So what I'm going to do is go up to UV editing, zoom in here again. And so I go to edit, make sure all the vertices are selected. Now you can see I can come in here to the UV editor window and I've got a special little tool so I'm going to move UDIMs relatively. So this is your default place um, and what you need to do is drop it down one for regular lights and drop it down a second level for turn signals or blinking lights. So go back to layout, save this. Now I'm just going to export this one part because that's all I need. Bring your light. I'll call this update. Export. Save. I can close that out now. So I'm going to edit this again. Copy that. Go into the update, edit the update, add that file. And so here I just need the clear plastic color. Change that back down to one. Open this up and now it should blink. Right. So I need to do the shadow maps again and the tangents. Okay, so here we go. Now when I turn on the light control. Oh yeah, with 22 it doesn't blink, but I get it. I'm going to import it back into the other one, so rear light 20. What I'm doing is I'm just getting it in the same order that it was before. Sorry. Deleted my video editing software because it was taking up 190 gigabytes of disk space, and I was like, no, I'm not doing that. So, you guys get to deal with unedited videos for now until I figure out a better solution or get a uh, another drive for storage space. So yeah, the crane's pushing on me. Okay, so here we have the lights. Here we have the brake lights, lights and brake lights. 